definitely misclick that one. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to that later. So let's move on to question two now. Okay. So with this, it's asking us the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. To convert, oh, there it is. What is a boiling point of water in Kelvin? Boiling point of water in K. Okay. So we do have a conversion um, and, you know, our units in this table right here, conversion factors. So with that being said, let's see what we remember about the boiling point of water. Um, if we typically remember what when we discuss boiling point of water, we know that it's usually typically 100 degrees Celsius. That is the common known boiling point of water. But it's not asking for Celsius, it's asking for Kelvin. How do we go from Celsius to Kelvin? Well, with this, uh, most you'll see that um, your teacher professor might ask you to memorize this because it does occur frequently and reoccur frequently in a lot of chemistry equations where you're using Kelvin instead of Celsius. So I do advise that you memorize this, but for those that don't have it memorized, it says here that Kelvin's is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. That's what we're going to use here. So, Kelvin's is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Okay? And that's how you get to Kelvin. So now let's plug in our number. All right, so now we have 100 plus 273.15. Okay? So that means that the Kelvin amount for boiling point of water would be 373.15 Kelvin. That is our answer for the boiling point of water in Kelvin. Okay? That's what the K stands for. So exactly. Uh, this one they do use 273.15. It's mostly the same. Um, exactly, and they even mentioned that they use that as well. Um, so it's really up to you, um, specifically up to your professor slash teacher, whichever one they add onto the conversion sheet, or whatever your textbook mentions as well. Uh, but that 273.15 is something you do have to get familiar with because it does reoccur often in chemistry questions. All right. Let's move on to question three. Thank you.